Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on National Education Policy 2020 on Secondary Education. The National Education Policy 2020 is a landmark document that aims to revamp the education system in India. One of its key focus areas is secondary education, catering to students in the age group of 14 to 18 years. This lecture will delve into the significant changes brought about by National Education Policy 2020 in secondary education, examining the implications for students, teachers and the education system as a whole. What is the background of NEP 2020? Before delving into the changes specific to <coughs> secondary education, it's essential to understand the broader context of NEP 2020. The policy was introduced with the vision of transforming India into a knowledge-based society. It replaced the national policy on education 1986 and aimed to address the evolving needs of the 21st century. So there is flexibility and multidisciplinary approach through national education policy 2020. One of the most noted the changes in secondary education under NDP 2020 is the emphasis on flexibility and the multidisciplinary approach. The traditional demarcation between arts, commerce and science streams has been minimized, allowing students to choose subjects of their interest across disciplines. This move is designed to foster creativity and critical thinking, enabling students to explore diverse fields before making informed choices about their higher education and career paths. What are the curricular reforms and reduction of uh, curriculum reforms, especially the reduction of syllabus burden? NEP 2020 advocates for a significant reduction in the syllabus with the goal of relieving students from the burden of excessive rote learning, memory learning. This reduction is aimed at promoting a deeper understanding of concepts and fostering a holistic learning environment. The policy suggests that the curriculum should focus on core concepts, essential skills and critical thinking rather than on uh, memorization. The policy introduces transformative changes in the assessment system, moving away from the traditional summative assessment to a more continuous and uh, comprehensive evaluation. The emphasis is on assessing not just memorization, but understanding, application, and critical thinking skills. This shift is expected to reduce exam-related stress and promote a more holistic understanding of subjects. NEP 2020 places a strong emphasis on integrating vocational education into the secondary school curriculum. The goal is to equip students with practical skills and knowledge that will make them employable directly after completing their secondary education. This integration aims to bridge the gap between academic learning and real-world applications, catering to the diverse career aspirations of students. Recognizing the increasing role of technology in the modern world, NEP 2020 advocates for the integration of technology in secondary education. This includes the use of digital tools for teaching, learning and assessment. The policy also emphasizes the importance of imparting digital literacy students, ensuring they are well equipped, well equipped to navigate the digital landscape in their academic and professional lives. A crucial aspect of enhancing secondary education is the focus on teacher training and professional development. NEP 2020 recognizes the pivotal role teachers play in shaping the learning experience for students. The policy calls for regular training programs for teachers to keep them updated on the latest pedagogical methods, technological advancements and evolving educational trends. This emphasis on continuous learning for educators is expected to en enhance the overall quality of secondary education. NEP 2020 addresses the language of instruction, promoting the use of the mother tongue or local language as the medium of instruction in schools. However, 
it also emphasizes the importance of learning and proficiency in english and hindi the three language formula encourages students to learn three languages the mother tongue the regional language and english or hindi this approach aims to preserve linguistic diversity while ensuring that students are proficient in languages that have national and global significance in line with the broader goal of inclusivity neb 2020 addresses the needs of students with disabilities the policy emphasizes the importance of providing appropriate support and accommodations to ensure that students with special needs can fully participate in the educational process this includes accessible infrastructure trained special educators and the incorporation of assistive technologies recognizing the disparity in educational infrastructure across different re- regions NEP 2020 calls for a concerted effort to improve school infrastructure this includes the provision of libraries laboratories sports facilities and other amenities necessary for a holistic educational experience the policy also suggests rationalizing schools to ensure optimal utilization of resources and improve the quality of education to conclude the national education policy 2020 brings about a paradigm shift in secondary education in india by emphasizing flexibility reducing the burden of syllabus integrating vocational education leveraging technology and focusing on teacher training nep 2020 aims to create a more inclusive holistic and responsive education system the changes introduced under the policy reflect a forward looking approach that considers the evolving needs of students in the 21st century as these reforms are implemented it is essential to monitor their impact on the ground and make further adjustment to ensure that the goals of nep 2020 are effectively realized leading to a more vibrant and effective secondary education system in india thank you very much for listening to my video lecture dear friends let us meet in another video lecture god bless you abundantly